We so often forget that God is there with us all the time. We forget that God is with us in all places, at all times, in all circumstances, and in all situations we find ourselves in. We forget the promise of God in Isaiah 43, 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. It's easy to think, where is God in this sickness? Where is God in this loneliness? Where is God in this bankruptcy? Where is God when I'm failing in everything I do? Where was God when all this happened to me? And the answer is very simple. God is still with you, even when things are falling apart. God is still with you, even when you feel like giving up. God is still with you, even when everything seems to be working against you. God never leaves us. He never abandons us. In whatever situation we go through, He is right there with us. Joseph's life must have been pretty hard. Being hated by his brothers, who are the people he must have expected to love him the most? As if their hate wasn't bad enough, they threw him into a well and later sold them off to a foreign country. But even in that devastating situation that Joseph was in, the scripture records in Genesis 39.3 that the Lord was with him and the Lord gave him success in everything he did. The Lord was with Joseph even in that foreign land. The Lord gave him prosperity even in that hard situation. The following chapters give an account how Potiphar's wife accused Joseph falsely, making him be thrown in prison. How much worse could Joseph's life possibly get? But Genesis 39.21 says, But the Lord was still with him. Your situation might be getting worse like that of Joseph. You might have thought things were finally changing for the good and they turned out otherwise. Do not give up. Hold on to God because in wherever place you are, in whatever circumstance you are in, God is still with you. He's with you in that prison-like place. He's with you in that foreign land. He is with you even when you are accused falsely. God is just preparing you for something bigger, like he did for Joseph. God never left Joseph. While at prison, Joseph still dreamt and interpreted the dreams of others. He interpreted Pharaoh's dreams that saved the whole of Egypt from a very severe seven-year-long drought. His place was restored. The once prisoner was made the head of all the stores in Egypt. God used Joseph's hardships to save his people, including his brothers. When he finally met them, Joseph said, God sent me before you to preserve posterity for you in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So, it was not you who sent me here, but God. Genesis 45, 7. It's not your enemies putting you in that awful situation. It's not your boss or your colleagues. It's not those who you think they are. That situation is prepared by God himself for your good and for the good of others. It might not seem so right now. It might be hopeless right now. But trust me, God is still there. He is with you to walk you through anything you face. He is just preparing you for your moment of glory. He used Joseph's disheartening experiences to deliver his people from the famine. And so he can use your situation too to do something great. Do not ever forget that he promises to be with us in the waters and in the fires. Let's look at Daniel in the den of lions. Daniel still trusted that God was with him. He knew that God could never abandon him. It would be a matter of seconds before the hungry lions tore Daniel's body into pieces, but they did not. Why? Simply because the presence of God was there with Daniel. Daniel testified of this when he said, My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me, because I was found innocent in his sight. God watched over Daniel while still in the den. He did not let him suffer harm from the lions. The presence of God was manifested through the angel, and he sent to protect Daniel from the lions. Even when Daniel's friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the fiery furnace, God was still with them. He was there in the fire with them, as he promised in Isaiah, 
though they were only three, an angel of God was with them in the fire, such that they appeared to be four men in the fire. Daniel 3.25 says, Look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods. God was still with them, even though the situation looked different. The Bible says that not even a single strand of the hair on their heads was burnt. It might seem like you're all alone. People might look at you with mockery and say, who will help this one? Let's see if the God they have been boasting about will. It might seem like it's just you in that bad situation, but trust me when I tell you that God is still with you. He has sent you an angel to protect you, to walk you through everything, to give you strength when the journey seems too tiresome, to shut the mouths of the lions in your life, to get you out of the furnace unharmed, to walk you out of prison with a higher rank. God is still there, even though currently it may not seem so, but He is. Everything He does is for your good if you will choose to trust Him. God did not say that hardships won't be there, but rather that by His grace, He will emerge victorious. He did not say that we won't face challenges, but that right there in the midst of our problems, our troubles, our sadness, our anxieties, He will be there with us. He never said that it would be easy, but that His grace would be sufficient. He says that even though we walk in the valley of the shadow of death, He will be there with us. He told Moses, Do not come near. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place on which you stand is holy ground. Genesis 3, 5. The holy ground signified the presence of God. God did not tell Moses, come over here, this is where I am. He told Moses that right where Moses was, he was there too. He did not appear to Moses in a very big occurrence. It was just a burning bush like any bush would burn. But this burning was special in that the bush wasn't being consumed. God did not appear to Moses while he was deep in prayer or fasting or offering sacrifice. His presence was there even when Moses was doing a thing as ordinary as shepherding sheep. Just like in the burning bush scenario, God is right there where you are. You only have to notice his presence. His presence is always with you even when you are undertaking your daily normal tasks. Seek to see him. Seek to recognize God in the situation you're facing right now. Life might oppress us with its troubles. Sometimes we get too stressed and busy trying to fix our lives that we forget God has promised to take care of us. Give Him a chance today because He is there. He is only waiting for you to let Him take control. He is waiting to see your faith in Him. He is waiting to see whether you will notice that burning bush and draw nearer to it. God is waiting to see whether you notice that fourth man in the furnace today. There is nothing as calming as resting on the assurance of God. There is nothing sweeter than having the, this might be hard, but God is with me in it mentality. There is no better victory than the victory won by God for us. If he has said, he will do. If he has promised to be with us in the waters and the fires, he surely will do. Your families might think you're crazy for trusting in Him. It might look like it's too late to save the situation, but it's not. Pray to Him to forgive you for believing that He left you. Ask Him to remind that right there where you are is your holy ground, and He is there with you. Ask God to teach you to notice His presence in your life and to draw nearer to Him. Ask Him to reveal Himself to you today. The Bible assures us that we can do all things through Him who strengthens us, no matter how helpless the situation seems, no matter how severe the pain is, no matter how hot the furnace is, no matter how dark in the valleys we're in are, no matter how many hungry lions are staring right at us, God is with us in every situation. He will always be. Even when things are falling apart, our Lord will never let us suffer beyond what we can handle. He will always walk us through all the trials and troubles of this life. He will remain by our side through everything. God is not like man, that He will love us only when things are smooth. He looks beyond our pain and sees the rejoicing we will have tomorrow. He looks beyond our mountains and sees the beautiful valleys behind them that He has made for us. He looks beyond our current state and sees what a great vessel will be for His use tomorrow. 
all that is happening in your life, know that is the Lord's way of preparing great things for you. He is with you in that deep valley, in that dark night. Learn to see Him in all of your circumstances. Yearn to notice the presence of the Lord in good and bad times. It might not make the situation disappear, but it will make it bearable. It might not make the pain less, but healing will be assured at the end. It might not make it any less hard, but coming out unharmed will be a guarantee. I want to remind you that God is still with you. In that desert of your life, in that wilderness, in that hopeless place, God is still with you. He is taking care of your situation. Keep your trust in Him and seek to see Him. Do not think you're all alone. Do not think that He has abandoned you. No, He is right there.